was raised on a farm just north of here. A friend of mine went to school with, father was a, a union construction worker, so neither one being full-time jobs, I did both for a long time. Somebody moved into the farm next door that knew absolutely nothing about farming, so generally just anything farm-related, he would come ask me how to do it. Which, you know, if you're in the country, you your neighbor comes to ask you for your shirt, you take it off and give it to them. I walked into their house a couple years later and they're sitting at uh, their kitchen table making little animals out of glass. Being someone who had come through an apprenticeship program where anything that you want to learn, you can learn from the best. I knew the benefits of, of picking up everything that you, you know, could possibly learn. So I got these people to teach me something since I taught them how to farm. And that's how I got into glass. Decades ago, you would go to a, a mall or a, a tourist trap somewhere and there would be some guy making little animals with glass. I was one of those guys. <laughs> I enjoy the process and the realization that whatever it was that you made that day didn't exist when you got up that morning. That's, to me, the coolest part about it. Glass is my golf game. You, know, you, you talk to a golfer and they're like, they love it and it's frustrating. It's uh, demanding. Some days you have good days and some days you have bad days. But glass is like that too. I don't care if you've been doing it as like myself for 39 years, you still learn something every day. I want to do things that make people smile. And other aspect is to make things that people go, how did he do that? Anytime you're making something large that has a lot of pieces in it, it goes back then to design and you can, you can have that vision in your head, but you gotta figure out how to, how to make it real, you know? And, and that's, to me, is the challenge with this piece. This is probably the most challenging piece that, that I'll ever make right now, uh, at this point in my life. I'm really honored, and uh, I, I think the whole artist community here has been honored. It wasn't something that somebody pitched them, they came to us, and that just speaks volumes. I wish it happened everywhere, you know, because then you'd get the real flavor of the community. I think it speaks well of them, and the fact that they've investigated it and moved ahead speaks, speaks well of us, of the artists. Thank you.